I always felt that basketball was the sport that worked best when it comes to over-the-top arcade gameplay, simply because of how flashy the sport of basketball is in general. Flashy dribbling, flashy passing, flashy dunking. Hell, even the brawls are a huge spectacle. Welcome, punch! This is why I also felt that NBA Jam was always significantly more popular than Midway's other games of the same nature. Not to say that any of these games are bad or anything, but in NBA Jam you could twirl around in the air and do like 1080 dunks or something, while in MLB Slugfest your home runs go 500 feet instead of 400 feet. So freaking extreme! So in comes EA Sports with their take on arcade basketball gameplay with NBA Street. This is a basketball game? Nope. This is a street ball game, and it's perfect for the EA Big series of games. You're probably expecting me to immediately go off about all of the insane stuff you can do in the game, and we will. But the little things about this game don't get talked about nearly enough. Look at how smoothly animated this game is. It's above so many games that were out at the time. Look. This is EA Sports Simulation Basketball Series NBA Live 2002. The way how the players move is just awkward looking. The players dribble like they're holding in their diarrhea. NBA Street never looks this awkward. They even have these walking and jogging animations that are not only animated well, but also such a simple little animation demonstrates what this game is all about. There's so much personality here. There's so much showmanship. Both of these games came out in the same year yet NBA Street looks superior despite being the arcade alternative. Even taking a look at ball physics. Hey yo! Shut up. The ball bounces and rattles around the rim. Even the nets react in a realistic way. You know that one guy who spent like a million hours working on Batman's cape in the Arkham Asylum games? Yeah, screw that guy. Let's give some love to the guy who worked on the nets in NBA Street. As far as gameplay goes, it's three on three basketball with the goal of getting to a score of 21. Sure, you can be all boring about it and boringly dribble down the court and go for a boring layup, which will result in a boring point. Boring. That's like buying a PS5 just to watch DVDs. Like, what are you doing? The game gives you tools to be more flashy, and the game encourages you to be more flashy because of the implementation of the famous Game Breaker, which lets you score points while taking away your opponent's points. You build up the Game Breaker meter by doing cool shit, of course. Dribbles, dunks, alley-oops, and everything else. You can combo these moves together and move the ball around so effectively, not even David Blaine can keep up with all the trickery. What the F? How did you, how did he get it? When doing fancy dribbles, the idea is to knock over the defenders like bowling pins. And you use the buttons up top to do different tricks. If you're just messing around with the different combinations of buttons, you find some stuff. Like look at this one-handed shot. It doesn't contribute to your game breaker meter or anything, but it sure does look cool, huh? Sorry to sound like I'm someone who's writing a college paper and is trying to reach a word count, but this is all animated so well, and pulling this stuff off just makes you feel like a street baller. Uh, do I work for IGN? Why did I say that? Players all have different attributes, which adds a layer of strategy. Some players can dribble well. Some players can dunk. The ones who can't dribble are most likely bigger guys who are more powerful dunkers, while the ones who can't dunk have dribbling skills most likely. This comes into play when making your team. Defense is pretty simple on the surface, but you can put some thought into it. When you're up close, you can go for a steal, but this puts you in danger of being knocked down by the ball handler. You could play back a little bit to not get knocked over and steal the ball in anticipation, but if you play far back, then they can just pull up a shot. It's something to think about. Don't get me wrong, you're not going to see this game at any esports event anytime soon, but for a basketball game that's supposed to be a simple pick up and play type of game, this more than works. Gameplay does have some faults though. For starters, I sometimes get put into this backing down position for some reason. I'm assuming it's because I'm charging in, but this can get pretty annoying. Game breakers themselves are pretty underwhelming. The dunk is always the same, and you have no reason to ever do the dunk because shooting a three gives you two points and takes away two points of your opponents as opposed to just one point. The decision to not add in goaltending is mind boggling. The entire defensive strategy is just camping in the paint and slapping any shot that comes by. Get that shit out of here! Get that shit out of here! 
Even the CPU does this. It's even more prevalent when you unlock some of these tall ass Gumby guys. I understand that they wanted a no rules pick up and play type of game, but come on. If you're playing this with a buddy, you have to set house rules about this. Too bad you can't make the CPU follow those rules though. You son of a bitch! Presentation wise, the game is solid. The game has some nice courts to play on. I like the people who are sitting down and constantly like fidgeting around as if they're filled with anxiety. Well shit, I would be too if I was sitting on the edge of a skyscraper. What are you doing? The visuals as far as the graphics are pretty good. The music is kind of... Eh, a lot of it sounds generic and none of it ever really stood out to me. The announcer as well, he's just there. I never really felt any type of way about them. And there are some things like the Game Breaker font on the meter it looks like it was ripped from a phone book advertisement. But overall, the presentation is fine. My favorite little detail is that if you dunk the ball on the final point, the rim breaks. NBA Street has a circuit mode where you pick a team and pretty much just run through the league with boss characters in between. Each team you beat, you can snag a player from them or get 50 development points for your own created guy. You can create your own player in, this is no exaggeration, the most limited character creation I've possibly ever seen. Don't even bother with this. When playing in these games, the announcer absolutely shits all over you if you play on easy. You got some game player, why are you still playing on easy? That didn't mean nothing. Move up in difficulty, son. Look, I was just peer pressured into changing the difficulty by a video game announcer. How far have I fallen? Unlocking the boss characters and stacking your team with them is pretty cool. See kids, you don't have to steal your mom's credit card in order to simply unlock characters. What a novel concept. You can also unlock other teams, a damn Yeti for some reason. And you even have the SSX characters too. Speaking of SSX, they also show you what blood type everyone is for some reason. I don't get it. Welcome to the circuit. Hope you brought your gang, because we're going on a quest to beat the best ballers in the nation. Whoa! They got the guy from Space Jam in this. Oh my God. Overall, this mode is fun, just needs a little something else. This mode would be better if the character creation wasn't so empty that you thought you were at the premiere of a non-Marvel related Tom Holland movie. Where is everybody? It's still appreciated that you can just play the game and earn stuff though. Watch out, it's getting crazy out there. Damn Yeah, double up on them combos. NBA Street is a game that doesn't get talked about as far as the influence it had. Yes, NBA Jam came out first. However, as far as the streetball genre, there has been numerous streetball games that have come out, including NBA Ballers, which was made by the creators of NBA Jam. It comes full circle. The addition of Game Breakers, which not only led the way for other EA Sports big games, also led the way to other games using similar mechanics. NBA Street is a pretty great game that hits some bumps here and there with character creation and whatnot, but it really is the start of something great. I just wish we can watch Yetis play street ball in real life. Jackson, oh. Get that shit out of here! Hey, if you made it this far, I just want to say thank you for watching. This is part of the series where I review every EA Sports game. So if you really are interested, just let me know in the comments which game I should cover next. I really like doing these and I hope you guys enjoy them too. Peace.